So the next topic is the analyze tool with Marty Albright, precision ag specialist. And this is a really, really good one to pay attention to, especially if you're trying to figure out totals for your operations. We're going to go up to the tools button here and in the list of tools that come up, I'm going to click on analyze. When we get here, we can see that there are three ways to sort down to the, the uh, data that we want to look at. So, and all of these are are kind of be are going to be relative to what is in your data set. So, in this uh, operation center, in particular, we have application, we have harvest, we have seeding, we have tillage, so a little bit of everything. Um, we could also look look at it by season and by crop type. So, for example, I'm going to go to harvest and stay in 2020, and I want to look at the soybean harvest that I just finished up a couple weeks ago. So there we go. Just like that, I have all of my har uh, my soybean harvest listed right here in a nice little summary format. I've got acres harvested here by field, average moisture, average dry yield, total yields off here to the right. And uh, I'm looking at this by field right now, but I can also look at this by variety if I wanted to. And so same thing, we got the area and the average moisture and average yield by variety this time. So if I wanted to export this, there's a couple of different ways I could do that. Three to be precise. Uh, the first way would be a PDF summary in the middle here. And this is gonna be just a little PDF sheet that opens up here. And as we can see, it's just a nice little summary of uh, our soybean, our 2020 harvest for soybeans. So quick and easy, nice little PDF file that we can print out or email or download an email um, to somebody that we wanted to, to have share, share that data with, or that we wanted to share that data with. Another way to look at it uh, as an export is to go to PDF detailed. Once again, it opens up a PDF file here, and this one's a little bit different. It's still showing it by field and kind of a summary, but just a little bit more detail to it. So we've got our start date and end date, um, and then we've got everything sorted down by variety, and then totaled, our, all our totals are by variety, and then our averages as well. So pretty slick, easy way to, to do that. Then we got our total averages at the bottom here. So I should note here that all of this data that we're looking at in the analyze tool uh, is uh, for, for harvest, the varieties come from the planting. So it's looking at your planting file to see where you planted those varieties and it's applying that to your harvest file. That's pretty slick. Um, so I know we get a lot of calls about variety locator at harvest time, and really that's only for what you want to look at in the combine, the person who's in the combine seat. And if you want to do that, that and that's important to you, we can definitely load up variety locator, but there's really no need to, uh, to do that because uh, we did not do that for this data. We had no variety locator files for this data. Uh, all of this data, as uh, was done as planting and then just a simple uh, yield yield map that uh, and then those two combined, the were combined from the planting to the harvest. The last way to look at data, I'm going to switch this to corn. The last way to look at data as an export would be as an Excel spreadsheet. It's listed here as XLSX. That's the file type for an Excel spreadsheet. So that pops open here. Make sure that we're seeing that on the screen. Okay, I'm going to go to the enable editing button here and then just use this little Excel spreadsheet here to click on data and filter. 
And we actually have a variety strip trial in one of these fields. And I want to look at specifically that. So it's on the east half. I'm going to uncheck the Oak Hill Farm field. There we go. Now we're just looking at east to east half field data here. And I'm going to go to the average dry yield column and sort from largest to smallest. And just like that, I have ranked this strip trial by yield for a variety, uh, for all the varieties on that strip trial. Quick and easy. Uh, it yielded from about 219 bushels per acre down to 103. And we can see which varieties did the best and didn't do the best. So the last thing I'm going to do here is show you how to use this analyze tool to search for data and hunt for data that we may think is missing. For example, I'm going to go to the application uh, view here and I see that there are three fields there. Well, that worries me because I know that I did an application on four fields for 2020. So one's missing. Well, I can go up to season here and search down to 2019. And there we go. Sure enough, that's my field. Um, so it, it was actually mislabeled as a 2019 application when it was clearly a 2020. But um, if we had a whole mess of uh, 2019 applications here, this wouldn't be too useful unless we did this filter right here. So if we're looking at all of this 2019 data here, we can still filter by, by a couple different ways here, client, farm, by field, by products for the application. But uh, in this case, I'm going to filter by a custom date range. And I know that this application that I'm thinking of was done uh, late in the fall, maybe early winter. So let's say October 10th or so here to December 10th. And say done. And sure enough, that date, that uh, application does fall into that October 10th to the December 10th date range here for 2020. So it is labeled as 2019, but clearly it is a 2020 application. So again, you can use this analyze tool to hunt and search for data and look at it in a different way using this more filters tool.